Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Tex-Mex meatballs. Alright, I'm starting out a large bowl. I have roughly two pounds of ground beef. Now to that I'm going to start out by adding two cloves of garlic, which I'm using the pre-diced stuff. I'm going to add in one onion and one jalapeno I diced up. And that jalapeno is going to give it a little bit of kick of heat. Alright, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. About a half a teaspoon of each. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. You can also use dry if you don't have fresh. And I'm going to add in about a cup of Fiesta blend or Mexican cheese. I'm using a Fiesta blend. I'm going to add in about a cup of that. And I'm going to add in a little bit of panko breadcrumb. Now you're supposed to put egg in this, but I don't have any eggs. I ran out and I didn't realize it, so we're just going to mix it up without the egg. I'm going to get in here and get this all mixed together. Alright, now that I have this all mixed together, and right about now your hands are dirty, somebody knocks on a door or calls. So if that happens, you're going to wait. I'm going to take a large skillet. And I'm going to start making the meatballs. And I'm going to make them about the size of a golf ball. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my meatballs made, get them in this skillet. Alright, now that I have all my meatballs made, I turn the burner on, I'm going to brown these. And I'm probably going to have to drain off a little bit of the grease because this isn't lean ground beef. I'll turn these around and brown them all up. Alright, now that my meatballs are all are browned, I pull them out and I drain the excess grease off of that. I turn my heat down. I'm going to add in roughly two cups of tomato sauce. And this is tomato sauce that I froze in a Ziploc bag. Or this is that rather crushed tomato I'm putting in. I froze this in a Ziploc bag so I could reuse it and not waste it. But I made one mistake, guys. I laid the bag on top of the uh, wire rack shelf in the uh, freezer and it oozed down in between there and froze. I had to take the whole shelf out to thaw that out without ruining the, the wire shelf to get it out. Now I have roughly about a cup of thickened chunky salsa I'm dumping in there and I'm going to add a little more cumin to that about a half a teaspoon turn my heat up a little bit I'm going to grab a spoon to get the stir to get it all mixed together turn my heat up a little more we want to warm this up a little bit before we put the meatballs back in and guys, when you make this, make sure you add egg into your ground beef mixture because my meatballs really don't want to stay tightly packed together. They're staying together, but they wouldn't, they're not doing as well as they would if they had that egg in there. So make sure you put egg in. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and nestle my meatballs down into this sauce. Alright, now that I have my meatballs all in, I'm going to take a little bit of sauce and put it up over top of the meatballs. You just want to cover them with a little bit of sauce. And guys, this is smelling really good. I'm just going to go ahead and turn my meatballs over a little bit. I have to be careful because until they cook completely through, which are not, they're still a little pink in the middle. They're a little delicate. Spread them out here. Alright, I'm going to put some more cheese on them. I'm 
and I'm going to put these in a 400 degree oven on cover for about 10 minutes till that cheese meat melts. So the cheese melts, not meats. So the cheese melts and the meatballs cook through. These just came out of the oven. They only went for eight minutes. They're done. They're ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some scalloped potatoes to go with these. Let me get in here and try one of these meatballs. Until already they're super moist. Well seasoned. Cheesy. Get a little heat from the jalapeno. You get that cumin coming through. Guys, those are really delicious and they weren't hard at all. Alright, there you have it. Tex-Mex meatballs. Thanks for watching and remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.